Hello guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm sharing my quick morning cleaning routine. We haven't always got time to do morning till night cleaning and sometimes we just want to get our house in order in an hour or two. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm just going to be sharing what I typically do on a morning when I don't want to be cleaning all day long but I still want my house to be nice and fresh. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you do and let's just jump straight into it. So typically I do like to start off in the bedroom just by making the bed. I feel like it sets me up for the rest of the day and then if I don't come back upstairs for the rest of the day I know that the bedroom's done and waiting for me to crawl into bed and everything is already nice and cosy. So I do like to get that done first thing so I'm just going to make the bed and then have a quick pick up. Luckily the bedroom wasn't too bad on this day so I just got a few clothes that I need to sort out and either put them in the laundry or pop them away and then I can head downstairs to the kitchen and just sort out down on there. So on days where I just don't want to be cleaning all day long, I always try and focus my attention on the kitchen and the front room because those two rooms are where everyone just tends to hang out and you don't really see the rest of the house. So I always try and focus on the more high traffic areas. So the kitchen and the front room is definitely my top priority whenever I want to have a bit more of a lazy day, but I still want the house to feel clean and fresh. So I'm just in the kitchen and I need to put away some washing up that I did the night before and then crack on with the washing up that's left because there's always washing up left so I'm gonna get all that washed up and put away so I can wipe down the sides and just get the kitchen nice and fresh. Back where I started, you say you're sorry, so we forget about it. Simple as that, but I don't know where my heart is. Still 
So once I've done the washing up and put everything else back where it belongs, I'm going in with the Fabulosa Disinfectant Spray in the Lemon and Mint scent. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I've still yet to use my new Sif spray and I'm surprised I haven't used it yet, but I just, I'm a creature of habit and because I started with this one, I don't seem to want to change yet. So I'm just going to spray over the sides with this, but it does honestly smell so good and it makes the whole kitchen smell good as well. It's a very strong fragrance, which is what I absolutely love. So I'm just going to whiz around. I am going to let the um, washing up air dry so I can head through into the front room, sort all of that out and then come back and do the washing up a little bit later. I'm not in a rush today. I don't really need to get that all dried up and put away. I mainly do that when I want everything finished, either if I'm on my way out or I'm just not going to have time to do it. That's when I like to dry up. But because I'm not really doing much today, it's going to be a slower day. I'm just going to let it air dry. Now I'm in the front room and this routine is pretty much the same every single morning. First thing I have to do is sort out all of Cinnabon's toys and then just pop everything back where it belongs. So sorting out all of the cushions and throw blankets and just making it look a lot more put together. I do try and take out all of the rubbish and the washing up before bed now, just so it's not too overwhelming when I come down in the morning. But I don't sort everything out before bed because this quick pickup literally only takes me five to 10 minutes. So I just whiz round and put everything back where it belongs in the morning. And then I'm going to go in and give it a good dust over and a hoover to make it nice and fresh. So I'm now just going to head back through into the kitchen and pop all of that washing up away. It did still need a little bit of drying up because I haven't left it too long but I'm just going to get it all away so I can go in and clean the sink because that's the final thing that I like to do and I just feel like it makes the kitchen feel more finished and complete when the sink's done so I'm just going to whiz round and get everything decluttered and put away so I can go in and give it a good scrub.
So in between the deep cleans, I do just go in with some washing up liquid and a normal sponge and just give it a scrub over. It leaves it nice and fresh and looking sparkly, but I love having a clean sink. And once this is done, I can stick the kettle on and just relax for the rest of the day or just get on with everything else that I need to do. But I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you have. And I will see you back here in the next one.